you know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? <laughs> Game shows. Everyone thinks that they want to be on a game show until they go on a game show and realize the horrible things that can happen. Today we're gonna focus on that. People who wish that they never were on a game show. Game shows gone wrong! Sorry, the screaming wasn't necessary. By the way, there's a lot more clips than what we're just gonna watch today. So if you guys wanna see this again and see more of these clips, 10,000 likes people, 10,000 likes, you know what to do. Let's just get right into it. Gondola ride through Venice. Yeah. Good job. Let's, let's check your geography knowledge. What country do you think we're sending you to? Paris. <laughs> if you think Paris is a country, that should automatically disqualify you from getting the prize. That's all I'm saying. Have some respect. Honestly, honestly, if someone was winning a trip to Canada and they were like, what country are you going to? And they said, Toronto. I'd be like, no, you can't come. You can't come. Show us some respect. So? Yeah, We'd sure. like to solve the puzzle. Go ahead. Super Superman and Wonder Woman, okay. Man and Spider Woman. No, that is No, no. bro, no. Su Superman and Spider Woman? Superman and Spider Woman. No, that is not- Wonder Woman. This is, oh, it's too late. It's too late for you, dude. You can't, you can't. I've watched a lot of Wheel of Fortune. They do not let you guess a wrong answer and then immediately correct yourself. You can't do that. It doesn't work. You get one chance, people. Everybody gets one. Tell them, Peter. Uh, apparently everybody gets one. Bingo. You don't get a second chance. Life is no Nintendo game. All right. My streetcar naked <laughs> desire. What the heck? Is that, a, is that a book or a show? Please don't tell me I'm wrong. C. One C. There you go again. You have $1,600. He's going for it. You can just solve, bro. You can solve. K. No. A streetcar named. Oh no! Oh no! No! I would have got it wrong too. Maybe. Maybe I'm just feeling crazy right now. I thought this said my. Listen, either way, this makes like no sense. A streetcar named Desire. You name your streetcars. That, that's what we're doing now. We're naming streetcars. Jack. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How long have you been a firefighter? Five years. You like it? Love it. Good. I love firefighters. You're one of those gung-ho guys running to the burning building, no fear. Run in the burning building while guys like you are running out screaming like little girls. Oh! <laughs> Got him! Got him! Yeah, that guy's trying to talk some smack. Cool. Well, we are cool. That was very accurate. <laughs> You're a modest man, Jack. <laughs> Roast him again, roast him again, no pun intended. I would be very, very surprised if Jack won the whole pot. Um, he came across as very arrogant, and he's not as brilliant as he thinks he is. Oh, okay. All right, All right Jack. round four, ladies, and so far you've banked a really, truly impressive $3,500 out of 75. You can do it, Jack. Jack. Oh. Jeff. They're gonna say Jack. Jack. <gasps> Jeff. Yes. Why did you want to get rid of Jack? Uh, the room's getting a little small for such a big personality. Oh! <laughs> you think this room is small, wait until you get in the parking lot. <laughs> well, Jack, you started out flaming, but now you're going down in a blaze. <laughs> oh, Two hoots, you are the weakest link, goodbye. No handshake, no ha Oh, jeez! Part of me liked Jack, though. Physically, they are afraid of me. They know <laughs> that I will probably be waiting in the parking lot for him. Oh my gosh, Jack! It, it's just a game, bro. It's just a game. It's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? 700. C. Yeah, they're just Mythological C's. hero Achilles. Oh, I've seen this. I've seen this. It's all. Oh, well, that'd be a good idea, yeah. <laughs> Mythological hero Achilles. I can't accept that. Okay. Shovel. I'll solve. Yeah. 
Mythological hero Achilles. Yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, you oh, gotta boy, say man. it right. Dude, you got it. Uh, HLS. I saw this episode live, bro. I used to watch Wheel of Fortune every day. I was a monster at that game. Monster. Mythological hero HLS. Populous nation, 400. Israel, Lebanon, Syria. Max, what is Israel? No. Kevin, what is Syria? Right. Nation, 600. Switzerland, Sweden, Swaziland. Max, Sweden. what is Switzerland? No. Kevin, what is Sweden? Right. Nation, 800. Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia. Indonesia? Max, what is Pakistan? No. Kevin, what is Indonesia? Yes. Most populous nation, 1,000. Portugal, Colombia, Peru. Colombia? Max, what is Peru? No. <laughs> Kevin, what is Columbia? Right. <laughs> oh! I'm unstoppable, people. You know you're watching the most educational non-education channel on YouTube, right? All right, the quality on this, I can almost see a couple pixels on this one. And I understand, Chase, that you flew in last night, you didn't get here till three in the morning, and you haven't slept a wink, huh? No, I pretty much have coffee flowing through my veins right now. Do you really? Yeah. But as pretty a college cool. student, I'm nah, thinking maybe that's not so rare. Yeah, I'm up pretty late. I'm kind of... Uh, Insomniac, I guess. Okay, but so, you know where you I'm, are. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right, good, okay. good. Oh, oh no, is he gonna fail the first one? He's gonna okay, fail the first play. one, people. We know where this is going. The sleepy college student. Homeowners buy surge protectors to protect their possessions from unexpected electricity. surges of what? Electric current. Okay, electric water current. Water flow. Air pressure. Buyer's remorse. <laughs> I will say B. Water flow. Final answer. What? Oh, Chase, yeah. electric. Oh my oh, god. Oh, I'm so dude. sorry. Surge oh, protector. God. How are you in college? How are you in college, bro? Thank you, Surge Protector, for always protecting me from water flow. You do a great job. No water will be getting to my electronics now. Uh, this looks tough to me. <laughs> New York. It's House. a thing. New uh, York. You're a very good puzzle seller, no. but I don't know. It's, you have 10 seconds. Keep talking. Maybe the right thing will pop out. Good luck. New baby buggy. New oh. baby. Oh, new. That oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've seen that. That ain't no fail. That's the most incredible success ever. How do you get new baby buggy? Yeah, <laughs> pat him down, he's wearing a wire. Something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob! Naked Grandma! What did he say? Hey. Oh. Naked <laughs> <laughs> Naked Grandma, very nice. It's gonna pop up and Steve's gonna be like, <gasps> I don't want to see that either. Real or fictional, name a famous Willie. Willie the Pooh? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Willie the Pooh, come on, bro. You look like the type of dude who watches Winnie the Pooh. Willie the Pooh. Willie isn't Steamboat Willie? Come on, Steamboat Willie. Hi, Kevin. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> these are old clips. Oh my gosh. Do these all look like they came from 1920? You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? Gosh, does it get more embarrassing than that? Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples? Does it get more embarrassing? Oh, this is the face of regret. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, does it get weirder? Can, can you pause? Could he possibly have said something weirder? I think even if he just came in and said, you know what, guys? I didn't wear any underwear today. That would have been less weird than <laughs> what came out. All right, we look for Edgar. Fish lips. Fish love? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no wish list. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wish <something> list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Wish list. I mean, that does make more sense. Me and this guy almost had the same idea. Fish love. <laughs> I feel like I've heard the term fish lips before. That's a real term, but fish love, who, how is that a thing? <laughs> that ain't a thing, bro. Name something you might buy that could turn out to be phony. Yeah, a horse. 
What? These people are stupid. See, I I make the assumption that before social media, human beings were smarter, but these people always prove me wrong. I think we actually have managed to get more intelligent, despite the absolute filth that is fed to us every day. What a dumbo. The most romantic sounding musical instrument. Drones. <laughs> Drums. Drums. That's the least romantic pronunciation I've ever heard. What's the most romantic sounding instrument? Drums. Yikes, dude. Name something people take with them to the beach. Towel. Turkey. <laughs> what is wrong with these people? How are these functioning humans? I don't believe that these are real humans. These are clones. They made clones and they were testing them on this game show. People are not this stupid. We asked a hundred people to name a game you can play in bed. Steve. I spy. I spy. <laughs> Bruh. I spy with my little eye something that is small. Listen, I... Guys, I had to say it. I had to say it. Okay, let's go. Let's carry on. Your time starts now. A group of pill pushers? <laughs> <laughs> wall washers, right? Is it wall washers? <laughs> Please. Please. I, I want the real answer. I need the real answer! Get, listen, guys, I am obsessed with Wheel of Fortune. I need to know the answer. I take a lot of pride in my ability, in my Wheel of Fortune ability. Well-wishers. Yeah, that's Well-wishers? No! I thought it was wall washers. Gosh, I keep getting close. Name something that comes in pairs. Fred. Seeds. Bananas. Oh, God. We have to hunt. See, my, what I was saying was the pear, the fruit, the pear, seeds come in the pear, you know, maybe that's what he was gonna say. Bananas can come in pears, but it's just a bad answer. It's just a really bad answer. Name something that follows the word pork. You pie. So, oh! <laughs> got him! <laughs> pork, you pine. Not bad. Bruh. Steve Harvey just has this permanent bruh face. I don't know if he consumes any uh, illegal substances before he starts filming these, but it sure seems like it. Gentlemen, other than popcorn, what is your favorite thing to nibble on at the movies? My Steve. wife's ear. Ooh, I'm gonna get shot. Uh, her I don't know if you- Oh! Okay, no, 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 okay. See, even I was being a little suggestive, this dude. Listen, bro, I do not want to see this- I do not want to see this man doing what he just said at a movie theater. I would call security. Name a part of the body that gets bigger as adults get older. Freddy. Everything. What a stupid, what a stupid question. What a stupid question. He, he, they set him up for it, but literally every part of the body gets larger as the person becomes an adult. There's not a single part of, literally your eyeballs are the only thing that stay the same size, right? Am I crazy? Don't your eyeballs stay the same size? Do eyeballs stay the same size? When we're born, our eyes are about two thirds smaller than they'll be when we reach adulthood. Okay, well, everything I know is a lie. Never mind. Yeah, every part of the human body gets larger. All right, people. I don't want this to discourage any of you guys from ever doing a game show. But what I will say is if you're going to do a game show, you, you really have to make sure you've watched a lot of the most educational non-education channel on YouTube. And that's Robert IDK, baby. You watch enough of these videos, You'll be set for Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, or any of the other weird ones that a lot of them are from the UK. There's more clips like this, so if you want to watch it again, let me know. Leave a comment, let me know. Here is School Plays Gone Wrong. A little bit different from game shows, but it's also one of my favorite videos I've ever done. Or here's a different video if you're not feeling that. I'll see you here or I'll see you here. Love you guys. Peace out. You're a winner. You are a winner. <laughs>